AVC, it is old Metal Rocker 65, <coughs> excuse me, with a collections video featuring UFO. This is part two of the CDs. Already did part one, so we're getting into what I have on CD. Must be another, probably... There must be another almost 20 here and one cassette yeah I only have one cassette but anyway let's get into it uh, if you got any comments so leave them below and if you're new to my channel hit the subscribe button and hit the like button and uh, anyway so part two we begin with <clears throat> the monkey puzzle from UFO come out in what it was it 2006 on Steam Hammer. So, still has Phil Mogg, of course, Vinnie Moore, Pete Way, Paul Raymond, Andy Parker, a lot of the older, older uh, lineup on this one. So, uh, the 80s, late 70s, early 80s lineup, some of these uh, members. So, I, I'm not sure if this one is out on vinyl. It might be uh, through Cleopatra. Like I said in uh, video number one, Cleopatra is predominantly coming out with all the re UFO stuff. Uh, Purple Pyramid and Cleopatra are they're one and the same, but different. They have different label names for some of the bands that you or put out but still quality stuff I don't know if this is out on vinyl or not I know there's a lot of these later albums by UFO in the 2000s that are slowly coming out on vinyl uh, with uh, both those labels but uh, this one is on SPV so who knows it it even might be out on vinyl originally back that far, so never know. I don't think it was though. The Monkey Puzzle, 2009. And then we have the best of UFO, 74 to 83. So, predominantly Michael Schenker era. I think he might have left right after 83 or it was right before that, but I don't, it's pretty close, but uh, predominantly Schenker area tunes on this. Uh, love to cover. A lot of old stuff. This come out in, um, what was it? 2008 Capitol Records put this out so so there you go <clears throat> and then I've never opened this there are a few items in my collection that I don't open I should say more than a few but uh a lot of it will stay if I have doubles then and what if I have doubles of the same one of them will stay close especially if it's like maybe a limited edition uh, not so much OGs because a lot of those are opened already but uh, this one I never opened it UFO impact alive this come out in 75 well it was actually this came out in 98, so 2008 on Mischief Music Limited. It, it's a 3D set with uh, live in Wolverhampton in 98 in uh, October 2nd and disc 2 is also the same night but less track six on that one nine on the cd one and then there is cd three live at the record plant from 
1975. So a lot of the early stuff on CD3. Of course, Phil Mogg, Michael Shanker, Danny, Pyrenol, P. Way, Andy Parker. <clears throat> now unopened. I don't think I've ever seen anybody ever show this. And then we have <clears throat> one of those nights, the collection from UFO. This is out on Castle, so this came out in 2006. So this one is a little bit earlier, before the light impact. But uh, I love all these. And this is a this is a double album set or double al album double CD set disc one and disc two disc two has a lot of bonus tracks so very cool to have the early years. Flying. I'll be showing you some of that too in the vinyl episodes. But anyway, this came out 2006, like I said, so out on Castle Records. <clears throat> and then we're, we have from, let's see, 2009, also from Steam Hammer. So they jumped into Steam Hammer for a few albums in the 2000s. This is one of them here. Uh, what did I say the... Oh, this other one was. No, the other one was a capital. Was this one here? Yep. It was about 2006 is where they jumped. Or it might be one before that too. But anyway, they jumped into the SPV label. They come out with this one in 2009, uh, The Visitor. Four piece or either been a four or five piece. Uh, this has Phil Mogg, Vinnie Moore, Andy Parker, Paul Raymond. Still, Vinnie Moore came in. Let's we'll see about that time. Uh, but the Visitor, not one of my favorite covers, especially on the CD. The vinyl is really. I do have it on vinyl, and the vinyl is a little bit better. You can actually see the detail. And the black and white here better on that, of course, than on this. But uh, from 2009, and then we have the Crushless Years, 73 to 79. So. On this set here, which is, I believe it's three CDs? No, it's six, five disc. Five disc set. Disc one is uh, Phenomenon. Disc two is uh, Forset and some live material. Disc three is Forset with uh, no heavy padding and lights out. Disc 4 is Lights Out, Side 2, a Lights Out bonus tracks, the John Peel Sessions from 77, Obsession, and bonus tracks, and Disc 5 has Strangers in the Night and the bonus tracks of Strangers in the Night, but kind of a hard one to get. Now maybe, maybe you could still get it, but... So very cool set here. Uh, nice book. Kind of goes over everything in here, you know. It,
pictures. Not a lot of collages, but uh, Killer Set though. This is put out by Chrysalis, and this originally came out in 2011. Nice set to have. And then we have Showtime, which came out still on SPV, which came out, what was it, 2005, so it was a little bit earlier. What did I see? This came out in 2011. I don't know why it's going backwards on me. So Showtime anyway, so we're kind of a little bit out of track here a little bit, but Showtime. A double set live album and I think this might be out on vinyl as well I'm not positive but uh, good stuff there and then we have let's see this one 2015 so Yeah, we're kind of all goofed up here a little bit, but anyway, uh, it is what it is. So, what's playing in the background is Conspiracy of Stars. Killer album. Uh, the five piece come out in 2015. I don't think this is on vinyl, so original vinyl, which I do have. So limited edition with bonus tracks, so <clears throat> probably, you say, probably the one to get. And then from 98, this is the one that I think was their best album that that kind of stands up to the 70s albums that they put out and this one here I'm talking about Walk on Water which came out 98 on CMC International BMG distribution 10 tracks uh, I think this is when Michael Schenker returned again. Fantastic release. This is just a killer album. It's now out on vinyl too, so, but completely different cover. But uh, good stuff here, especially the lead off track Self Made Man, Venus, uh, Pushed to the Limit, Stopped by a Bullet of Love. I mean, classic track, legendary album, in my opinion. It's kind of like. Uh, uh, not, uh, maybe it was this, no, it was when uh, Blue Oyster Cult put out, uh, uh, what is that album, Heaven? I ah, can't think of the album, but uh, ah, funny how you forget that, but anyway, it was, I think it was somewhere similar, but anyway, one of their best albums <clears throat> uh, they put out too, but this one here is really good. And then we have Alien Relations, UFO, Friends, and Family. Come out in 2005 on Majestic Rock Records. Cool little label. And what it is, is a lot of uh, UFO members doing tracks. Pete Way, Wasted doing tracks, Paul Raymond Project, The Plot, uh, Friends of uh, UFO, John Sloman, Pete Way, Snowblind, Pete Way, Raymond, Paul Raymond Project, Wasted, Alaska, and Wasted. But uh, kind of a cool little CD.
needs a new uh, tray. But yeah, like I say, 2000, what did I say? 2005. Majestic Rock Records. This I found over at, uh, I think it was Rockadrome, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, I buy a lot over there. In fact, no, it wasn't there. I haven't, well, I bought in one album here and there the last couple months. But uh, this is one I bought got a number of years back in their CD when they were showing this. I've never seen this. It's definitely a bootleg. I've never ever seen anybody else show this. I mean, and I don't even remember what I paid or bought it for. Maybe at that time, probably 10, 15 bucks right in there. But this is UFO by request. Definitely a bootleg. But uh, it's. It has, let's see, what is it? Ten tracks. It has tracks one and two are live recordings from BBC in 74. Three through nine are Zurich in uh, also 74. And then track 10 is a Blackpool sound check. But uh, yeah, I mean, rarity probably. Excuse me very raw sounding it's like it's not a very good recording put out by nightlife I mean it's okay but definitely <laughs> I've heard better raw sounding recordings than this one and then we're getting into more uh, bootleg stuff but this time the recording is significant significantly better a lot of these are, are sound house recordings, uh, recorded live. Uh, and there's like three labels putting these out. I've got a few of these on vinyl as well as CD. And this is one of them on CD. is put out by On The Air Records. And this is live in Atlanta in 74. You know, so it's kind of around the same era as this one but this is by far a better better recording than this one boy way better uh, in fact it's actually a really good recording uh, what it let's see what is it recorded live at the electric ballroom in Atlanta in 74 November 5th and also in London at the marquee on May 16th of 74 so a lot of old tracks, definitely. The old classics. Uh, mostly a four-member band with the addition of Paul Chapman on a few tracks. But good stuff here. And then, when these first started coming out by Cleopatra Records, I bought mostly the CDs because at the time the vinyls were not issued at the time and I started buying these and this is one of the first ones I actually bought on the Cleopatra label this is a UFO Hollywood 76 uh, classic stuff I mean, all good recordings, especially with uh, Cleopatra. They cleaned a lot of the mess up, you know, probably the hiss. Whatever they do to clean it up sounds really good. In fact, I just played it here the other day on vinyl. And then we have <clears throat> this one here is the last one. I need on vinyl. I do have it coming, but I don't have it here. And I thought I had it. I could have, and I think I might have sent it to a friend 
by accident, but you know, it is what it is. So I, I, I got another copy coming, so it's not a big deal. But this is a UFO, and these, these are, uh, these covers now are getting really, really good, especially with these additions coming out with, from uh, Cleopatra. And a lot of this stuff is, was from recordings of 90, in 93, Lights Out in Bobbin House in 1993. I mean, fantastic covers, you know, the alien ships, the alien uh, kind of looking person here, whatever, you know. And uh, I mean, these, Cleopatra did a fantastic job on these, especially on the vinyl, which I'll be showing you. And I mean, great stuff. Uh, lights out in Bobbin House. And then we have <clears throat> also on Cleopatra Records. Again, these are the first ones I've ever bought. And then I got the vinyls. And uh, this is UFO Hot and Ready in Texas in 1979 see that there but uh, anyway again great quality sound mix well killer stuff and then we have one Night Lights Out 77 from UFO. Again, I mean the covers up. They, the details better on the vinyl when I show you the vinyl, but uh, killer stuff. This is uh, recorded at uh, the Agora Ballroom in Cleveland in July of 1977. And then we have Live in Vienna in 1998. Double CD set. Another killer edition. 2023. These this this particular one came out, but uh, yeah, great stuff. Getting down to the end here, guys, with the CDs. And one cassette. And then we have Making Moves in Chicago 1981 from UFO. I mean, again, the covers are fantastic. Great artist who did these. I I don't know who it is right offhand. I'll, I'll know more on uh, uh, when I look at uh, the vinyl. But this one was recorded live at the International Amphitheater in Chicago on March 13th of 1981. And then we have <coughs> UFO Cleveland 1982. Again, recorded at the Agora Ballroom in Cleveland on June 9th, 1982. I think, I think even Bill Peters has this one. But good stuff. Killer stuff. Then I have a, a solo from, of course, the lead singer of UFO, All Them Years. Come out with his own uh, solo album. Of course, got to add it into the UFO collection. And I'm talking about uh, Phil Moog and Moog's Motel. Just came out this year. Fantastic release. I mean, it definitely has that UFO vibe. And that has, uh, let's see who, I'm trying to think of, Neil Carter who used to play quite a bit with them in the early days uh, is on this as well, which was very nice to see. But uh, anyway, 
on CD. Anyway, I like to have these kind of, I mean, anal about this, but anyway. Killer stuff. And the last one, guys, in part two is a cassette. I bought this back, I think it was back in, I want to say 91, 92. I was getting sober in them days, and I was in a share house, and all I had was a cassette player with the radio of course well actually I did have a CD it had a CD player on top but at the time I wasn't buying CDs only cassettes so I picked up uh, this UFO classic cassette so guys thanks for watching part two of the the collections video of UFO got part three and four coming up on vinyl with uh, 12 inch 10 inch and 7 inch so look forward to that and uh, like I said subscribe to my channel uh, leave a comment below and hit the like button and you'll get updates of all my new videos coming out and anyway take care everybody and keep rocking